guys welcome back to my youtube channel Sheila's Magical Chikoni Karibuni sana thank you so much for being here today's episode I'll be making um butternut soup butternut is in the same family as um pumpkin soup my friend Ashley requested us or rather me to make it and uh definitely share the recipe with you guys before you continue guys I have something on before you say I am naked I have something on anyway back to food so Personally, I never used to like anything malenge, anything butternut. Malenge is pumpkin, sorry. I never did. So, if you actually want to try something out or someone makes you want to try something out, you will try and just make it in such a way that you know you will enjoy it. So, this is a way of enjoying um, butternut. It's very tasty, very easy, very simple to make with affordable ingredients. By the way, I've literally used like less than five ingredients and it's amazing so stick around i hope you'll enjoy and i hope you love um, making this dish so yeah um if you haven't subscribed please do and to those that are new here again karibu nisana na wapenda this is sheila's magical jikoni where we live life with a little spice the home of unforgettable flavors so for today's ingredients i have a butternut here but i will use half of it because it's just me and my mom i have onions here which i have in plenty because i love onions and the flavor it just gives to this soup is amazing i have some fresh garlic here and some fresh coriander stalks remember when i make my onions i usually love to add some fresh coriander stalks the taste is mind-blowing i have fresh coriander here that i'll top once my soup is ready and on the side here, I have brown bread that I will make croutons. So if you have white bread perfectly, as in any bread is fine. Um, it's just that I have brown bread in the house and I'll use um, butter to make the croutons. This is not a paid ad, but I just love Brookside. Honestly, their products are just amazing. Then I have some black pepper because I mean, it goes a long way and I love black pepper and this soup, it just gives an amazing amazing flavor so let's get to cooking also guys um peeling this thing is really really hard and um please be careful don't um hurt yourself um this seeds I'll, I'll wash them and then dry them and i'll have them um probably in a cereal or as a snack and you see the way you just eat groundnuts you can just I'm um, roast them perfectly in a pan. A little bit of some seasoning goes a long way. You know what I'll add? Definitely it's black pepper. And it goes a long way. So wash them, dry them, and then you can roast them in a pan and have them as a snack. It's really healthy and I mean they're expensive in the supermarket. Just buying pumpkin seeds when you can have this. So um I've cut them into small pieces because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen cooking. So this one, this way they will cook faster to our hot pan we add the onions when your onions are translucent add it your fresh coriander stalks then your fresh garlic if you love some ginger it goes well with this dish as well but personally, I'm not a fan of ginger as much. So we let this cook for a few minutes on medium low heat. So when your onions and garlic are fragrant, go in with your butternut. We will let it simmer down and cook for a few minutes. Then we will add a little bit of some beef stock if you have, if you'd love some chicks, chicken stock, sorry, to work perfectly. Or a little bit of just water, just plain water. So that you let it cook till it's soft. Then we will continue. So we add some salt, just enough to taste. Then... Some water to cover it up and let it cook so 
if they are not ready we'll add some more if they are ready you can see mine are able to mash we will let it cool then we blend into a soup if not add some little bit of stock or water till it cooks nicely then let it cook and blend so mine i added um some more water so it is ready i'll just talk with my fresh coriander then i let it cool once it is cool we will blend it then we will return it to the pot and that's when we will season with some black pepper so now i want to show you how to um how we'll just cut up our croutons i will remove um these edges but it's not a must for you to remove if you don't want to then i'll chop them up into cubes you can make as many as you want but yeah that's practically how um we will be making ours just cut them up like this then we put them in a pan with butter and just um let them toast evenly till nice and brown so as our sauce is cooling put some butter in a pan Oops, my pan is a little bit hot. It used off some heat because we do not want our butter to burn. Put your slices of bread. I love butter, so allow me to just <laughs> literally go all out. You will just flip them over. Sorry. And let the other side also get the buttery goodness and um, toast up real good. And that's just practically it for the croutons. Do the same with the rest of your pieces and um, enjoy. So, our butternut has been cooling off now we want to blend it so just add honestly it's not as cold as i had wanted but it is still okay so i need to add a little bit of some liquid so that it's able to blend just a little bit then um, put it back into the pan I love the consistency because now we want to um, season it with um, the black pepper um, if you need some more salt you can add so I want to use some fresh black pepper it guys your soup is ready it's just about time we serve and enjoy ourselves hi guys um so my favorite part of the episode is here which is tasting the soup or the meal and um the croutons are still on top otherwise in a restaurant your croutons or your buns will be on the side and then the soup will be on the side so mine was just for um shooting purposes so um i'll show you just how to enjoy soup um generally um with um etiquette right i saw this in a movie sorry my nail looks dirty but it's discoloration from i was making the zikarai earlier so there's some food color um, on my fingers but anyway how to take soup so take your spoon and um let me just push some of the cotton aside take your spoon and um Put your spoon inside your soup 
and in the direction away from your face right that's the direction you want to take away from your face again let me just do it again because I realized it was invisible so you take your spoon pick up the soup the direction away from your face not this way but away then do this on the side of the bowl on the rim of the bowl to get the excess soup that is on the spoon this way is to avoid um, dripping okay it's to avoid dripping so that from the bowl to your mouth it does not drip remember it will be on the table you'll not be holding it like this so from the table to your mouth it will not drip so you remember don't do it like loudly and then disturbs disturb everyone's peace sorry just with etiquette you know and enjoy your soup Mm. Mm. I can taste the garlic, the black pepper. Remember, I used um, the fresh um, black pepper just grinding. Let's um, try with some crouton. Again, in a restaurant, the only thing that's considered okay for you to touch with your hands is actually um, the bread. Mm. Super buttery perfectly I mean perfectly I mean I think that's why you get the buns with the, the butter anyway this is amazing try it out I'm feeling nostalgic because I usually enjoy this with my sister and my mom and they're not around at the moment though they'll be here soon but yeah enjoy this with family over stories just talking and enjoying with your friends over not necessarily every time you just um have one course but anyway thank you so much for being here if you haven't subscribed please do thank you for um, the comments the shares the likes and continue doing the same till next time god bless you guys i love you so much enjoy and it's very easy very simple very affordable the a request from one of my followers who who's also a friend hi ashley so yeah um um in my life sorry um so um i want to share a little bit of some etiquette on how to just have the soup trust